All right, in this demo, I'm going to show broker commands on the Neduino Plus 2 using MQTT and RabbitMQ. So here I have a Visual Studio project uh, or solution with two projects. Uh, the first is the actual uh, project uh, for the device. Neduino uh, programs all begin uh, with a main method, as you can see here. And what I'm basically doing is uh, initializing an output port here for the onboard LED uh, and setting that to false so that it's off uh, by default as it is now. Uh, I'm then setting the uh, local time and then uh, before I initialize uh, the network interface and actually ask DHCP for an IP address, I'm going to go ahead and put the uh, board to sleep for 10 seconds. Um, this has been something I've had to do um, in order to get uh, the IP assignment to work in time uh, before moving on to uh, this uh, line here, uh, line 41. So here what I'm doing is using uh, Michael Paterno's MTT, uh, MQTT client uh, library. Uh, you can see here it is a NuGet package um, that is available uh, on NuGet as well as on uh, the CodePlex uh, website and why that's not coming up uh, right now, I'm not sure. Um, but if we do a quick search here for MQTT, you'll see here that I have his library installed. So I go ahead and use uh, the MQTT client uh, to establish a uh, connection to my RabbitMQ uh, server and uh, using the uh, port of 1883. And then what I'm basically doing here is registering uh, for a number of events. I want to know when a message has been published. Uh, I want to know uh, when a subscription or unsubscription has taken place. Uh, and then uh, as well as uh, when a, a message is, is published on the client side. I'll then uh, subscribe to a topic here uh, that I'm calling um, uh, by a fictitious device uh, name that I've given this. And then uh, the topic here, uh, subtopic here of LED, uh, and QTT does support uh, subtopics, which is a nice feature. I'm going to uh, connect uh, as uh, this client, uh, passing in uh, my uh, credentials here, along with some other uh, parameters. And at this point, uh, I'm up and running. So let's go ahead and uh, actually take a look at that, and then I'll have my breakpoint here uh, set on publish received, uh, which is where we're going to then uh, have this very simple um, code here for toggling the command on and off. Um, and when the command is on, we'll go ahead and uh, set that LED on, on the board to true, and otherwise we'll set it to false. So go ahead and get that up and running here. And you'll see some feedback here as the uh, code gets deployed to the device. Go back into Solution Explorer in the meantime, just walk you through the uh, test program. So the test program here simulates some kind of a command API uh, that's actually interacting with the device through the broker. Uh, and it equally is using the same client here, connecting to the broker, and then basically sending a string value here of on. And then I'm basically just looping here and publishing this message here, um, given uh, the, um, the um, intent. So I'm, I'm taking that and converting it to uh, bytes because uh, MQTT is a binary uh, protocol. And then I'm basically going to uh, just provide some feedback um, and then uh, I can just toggle on and off accordingly uh, within this loop. So looks like uh, everything is good to go. We've, we've deployed, which is great. Um, so we'll go ahead now and fire up the uh, test client here. That uh, error there can safely be ignored. And we'll see here immediately um, that the uh, handler uh, for message publishing uh, has fired. And if we step through this, we can see here that we're taking the bytes and converting that over uh, into uh, message. And the message now is two characters, O-N, 
And I'll go ahead and pass that in to this command here. Um, taking the character and converting it to a string. And I'll just go ahead and F5 through that. And so now what you can see is that the LED is on. I'll go ahead and clear this breakpoint here, come back here to my console, and we can now just toggle on and off, on and off, on and off. And that's pretty much all there is to it.